what's your take on the Fermi paradox and the great filter? Is it possible that the great filter is ahead of us? That's a very good question. So let's let's first look at the question of what is the Fermi paradox, right? What's the Fermi paradox? So it's basically about the uh, occurrence or not of intelligent life out there in the universe. So we know that there are about a hundred billion galaxies in the observable universe based on the data that we have, about a hundred billion, which is one with 11 zeros after it, right? And we know that there are approximately roughly a hundred billion stars per galaxy, roughly, you know? So that would mean that there are about 10 to the 22 power of stars in the universe, which means one with 22 zeros after it. These many stars in the universe. Now let's say only 1% of these stars are sun-like stars for the sake of argument then you would have 10 raised to 20 such sun-like stars. And let's say only 1% of these stars have Earth-like planets, then you would have 10 raised to 18 Earth-like planets in the observable universe. And let's say 1% of these planets would develop life, then you would have 10 raised to 16 life-bearing planets in the universe. And let's say 1% of this would develop human-like intelligence, which would give us about 100 trillion human-like intelligence-bearing planets in the observable universe. And if you do the same calculation for the Milky Way, you get something between 4,000 to, to 1 lakh human-like intelligent civilizations in our own Milky Way, right? So then the question is, if you have these many uh, possible human-like civilizations in our own Milky Way, then the question is, where are all the aliens? Where are they? Why do we see no signs of these aliens? And that is called the Fermi paradox. Our calculations tell us that there should be an abundance of human-level intelligent life in our galaxy and in the observable universe, and yet we have seen not a single sign of that. A single sign of that. That's the Fermi paradox. So how do we resolve this paradox, right? And that is where we come to these filters. So there is one possibility there which, which says that there are no higher civilizations in the universe. There are no higher civilizations than us in existence anywhere because there is a great filter. So what is this great filter? It is an evolutionary wall that destroys life once you advance to a certain stage. Maybe it's nuclear war. Maybe you kill each other because of uh, some other fo form of warfare. Maybe it's some disease or maybe life just isn't meant to evolve past a certain stage. So that's called the great filter, right? The possibility too is that we are a very rare civilization. Our in the level of our intelligence is very rare in the universe, which would essentially indicate that this great filter is behind us. We have managed to surpass this great filter, it says that it is extremely rare for life to make it to our level of intelligence, right? So maybe this great filter that is spoken about could be at the very beginning of ex existence. Maybe it's incredibly unusual for life to begin at all. So maybe we are the first <laughs> uh, life that exists out there. So that is one of the uh, possibilities, right? There is another possibility which says that the great filter has not yet come up. We have still not come across the great, great filter, which means that basically we are in trouble because the great filter is ahead of us. It's there in the future and we're going to run into the great filter and it's going to annihilate our existence. I mean, we know that we have had many species of human beings on our planet. Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalis, uh, the Denisovans, Australopithecus, Ardipithecus and so many more, so many species of humans and hominids came before us. We have some of their genes in us and yet they have gone extinct as distinct species. So they ran into some filter, right? So that's what we mean by the filter. So maybe there is a filter ahead of us in the future, which means we are screwed basically, <laughs> right? And then there is another, there are other possibilities that maybe intelligent civilizations are out there and maybe there are some good logical reasons why we have not heard from them or we have not been able to detect them. Maybe uh, maybe super intelligent life may already have visited Earth, but maybe they did be before we evolved as humans and maybe be before we became intelligent enough. So maybe they came before us, perhaps. Okay, Or maybe the galaxy has been colonized by a Kardashev type 2 civilization, but we just live in some 
some desolate rural area of the galaxy that nobody cares about. Yeah, so that's another possibility. And maybe there are some extremely dangerous predator-like civilizations out there. And most intelligent life knows that we should not broadcast any outgoing signals and advertise where we are. And maybe we are extremely naive to be advertising our existence to whatever is out there or whoever is out there. And then there is a possibility maybe we are receiving some contact from intelligent life, but our governments are hiding it, right? So there are a number of such uh, possibilities. Maybe there are civilizations so advanced that we are too primitive to perceive them, you know? So these are the possibilities. And so that is what the great filters are. This is the Fermi paradox. And that is this entirety, what I just uh, outlined is the uh, kind of debate that is ongoing about this matter.